So the next reason, it's about food. For those of you guys who don't know, so I observe a plant-based diet. I wouldn't call myself a vegetarian or a vegan because I don't like to restrict myself into those categories. I prefer the term a pl plant-based diet, but that is just me. And in UK, I've never had a problem finding vegetarian or vegan food. Um, all restaurants, even the corner shop in the railway station has a vegan option um that is how good um that is how good the food system is here in uk but back home in malaysia i would struggle to find healthy good um vegan food um they do not cater to that category Malaysia is amazing for food and I love Malaysian food but there are very few options when you go out to restaurants and things like that to get vegetarian or good vegan options. You have to go either to a vegetarian restaurant or you have to go to an Indian or a Chinese restaurant to get a vegetarian menu. The other thing as well is most chain restaurants like Fridays, Nando's, McDonald's have very limited or very few vegan or vegetarian options in Malaysia but here in UK they have a lot more variety and a lot more variety for uh, vegetarian and vegan food so that is also one of the reasons that I um, choose to live here and I find it a lot more easier to find food um, to cater to my diet and my lifestyle. So the next reason is about censorship so most UK has very little censorship on movies, musics and games and that censorship in Malaysia is very heavy. Lots of our movies, music and games are restricted, are censored and certain things like, I don't know whether you guys heard, even Beauty and the Beast were censored for some reason back home in Malaysia. Certain concerts like, I know they had an issue with Beyonce's concert in Malaysia and things like that. So that is something that I don't believe in. I rather live in a country where we can hear good music, watch movies and there are lots of less restrictions on, on those kind of items and th on those kind of things. Um, so that is one of the reason. So the next reason is probably an important one as well but I won't go into it in a lot of detail because talking about it makes me sick and makes me feel so disgusted that I don't, didn't even want to even say it out loud. That is how strongly I feel about it if you can imagine. Malaysia still has corporal and capital punishment in their legal system and that is something that I downright do not believe in. Um, that is against human rights and I am so happy and glad that UK and EU does not have anything of that sort in this country. That is also one of the reasons why I definitely believe in this system and definitely am happier here. So the next reason is probably a very important one for me. It is a small one, but a very important one for me. It is about internet speed. I don't know if you guys know, I am a homebody through and through. I love being at home. The moment I get home from work, it will take an army to get me out of the house. I just love being at home. I, so one of the very few things that I enjoy doing at home is actually browsing the internet. I love watching YouTube videos, I love watching movies online, I love browsing the internet for like new, for online shopping or even like reading books or magazines and things like that. So having very quick or very fast internet is very important to me and I don't know whether you guys know, the speed of internet in Malaysia is comparatively very slow and I live in a very urban area. I lived in Selangor which is about 45 minutes out from KL so and Selangor is known to have very good internet speeds and even using you know the best routers and things like that the speed of internet in Malaysia is slow and I don't know why I just I don't have the patience to cope with that so that is one of the reasons why I love being here and I, I this is one of the few joys that I don't think I can live without is actually fast and good internet.
So that those are all the reason that I have for you guys today. I know I'm going to get a lot of hate for doing this video. I'm not trying to hate on Malaysia or anything like that. I love Malaysia. It is a country that brought me up. My parents still live there and I'll always be grateful for Malaysia for giving me opportunities and things like that and bringing me up. And it is an amazing country and I know it is getting better. And in another way, um, UK is not perfect either. There are so many flaws in the current in UK as well. So it is not that UK it is is a perfect country. We have a long way to go as well. So I hope that this video is just helps you understand some of the reasons. Some of the reasons are big and some of the reasons are really small and basically first world problems. But those are important to me and those are the reasons why I choose to leave a country where my family is, where I grew up, to come over here and to start a new life. And so hopefully um, this will answer some of your questions. And if you have any more questions about Malaysia or about being international, please leave them in the comments down below and I will try my best to answer them. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, please give this a thumbs up. It will really help my channel and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!